searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing you a guide for U-Boat. I was just watching a streamer and they had a really tough time to get into an enemy port to attempt to make the attack on or drop off a saboteur, whatever the mission is, if you have to get into an enemy port, it can be really hard. So I'm going to tell you where my boat is right now. I have a snorkel with the anti-radar coating on it. I have an upgraded toilet and I have T3 torpedoes. That's it. I've added one extra uh, radio man to my boat. I probably, I wish I had an engineer with me, but I needed him to do research. And I want to make this run into, I'm doing the scaffold fro run. Okay. And I'm trying to stay undetected. So the first thing I want to do is I need to make sure that my morale stays good. So I've got my boat sitting at periscope depth. I've got the snorkel up. That's why I'm still on my diesel engine and my air is just fine. The biggest thing is you want to go in with no hydrophone and no visual. If there's right now, there's somebody, this guy right here is looking through the scope. If I take it over with the captain, all right, I'm going to come off that. Come on, captain, get on there for me. Speed up a little bit. So the captain's going to get on here and I'm going to go hide periscope. When I click on hide periscope, Captain, I told you to hide the periscope. What are you doing? Sometimes you have to stay on them to, to do the right thing. Let it load. Come on. There you go. Now you see the periscope's going away. I am trying to stay out of an alarm state before I actually get into the bay. I don't want to be under alarm until I've, I'm ready to do my attack on the ships in here. West, I want you to... Why can't you go to bed? Oh, because there's too many officers already in bed. That's why. All right. Uh, dude, I'll send you to the... Go play cards. Once we go under alarm, he won't be able to play cards anymore. But this will allow me to have West go to sleep. And I need to get West some sleep. Put you on navigation. Copy to in. I'm going to use my radio man to make sure that this is off. Send him over and go to manual steering. And I want him to supervise these guys as well. So get back over and supervise. All right. So I'm on manual steering and he's supervising their depth. So he, we're going to stay at a good depth for the whole run. That's very important. I have my food set up so that they're getting as uh, a good uh, variety of dishes. I wanted to stay happy on the way in, but once we're under attack, they're not gonna be able to eat anyway, so it's not gonna make a difference. Once we're under alarm. And you see my time, it's like 8.20. I'm, I'm gonna be making my entrance into the bay at a pretty good hour. I feel that's important because you want to do it at night or in a storm. If it's at nor at night and with a storm, phew, even better. Now, there's three contacts he's saying with the radio, but it doesn't matter. As long as he's not on a hydrophone, he's not going to get us in alarm state. Uh, captain, I want you to go to bed. Now, you have to be careful with the captain. Anytime he's not doing something uh, that he that you want him to do, he'll, he's gonna jump up and go to the attack periscope. As soon as he on, he's on the attack periscope, people are going to start getting alarmed, your morale is gonna start going down, and that's gonna be an issue. As we're going in, right now, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my electric motor, because it's the quieter, it's slower, but it's quieter. And you'll see the only noise I'm making is my electric engines and the surface noise. That's what I want. I want to be as quiet as possible, as low visibility as possible. Now I'm taking a chance. 
uh, I, if something does see us, I'm not going to see them before they see me, see me. All right, I'm gambling here. An aircraft could see me, but I'm going in blind, so they have a less chance of seeing me, and I am not going to be alarmed on the way in. I'm going to have full air supply, full diesel, and almost a full battery before I ever have to surface and start making my attacks. Now I'm going to go straight in, down the middle of the channel. That's where it should be deep enough for me to, to stay down here. See, I'm just scraping the bottom, but I'm maintaining my periscope depth and I'm not bobbing up and down because I have this officer watching. So he needs to take a break. So I'm going to send him to bed and put him on maintaining the, the steerage. Take away all his extra people. Take away all his extra people. Why did you just go alarm? What alarmed you? The... Oh, I'm getting... I... <laughs> did somebody spot me? Oh, I bet it was a plane. Okay. Well, I, I didn't luck out this time. I've done this before and I did luck out. I didn't luck out this time. I ran into either it was a plane or it was, um, or I hit a mine on the way in. Maybe I should have gone more on the side. Let me see. Oh, it's all in the rear. It was probably a plane because it would be in the 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 uh, front of the of the ship if it had been uh, a torpedo because it would, or of the boat because I would have ran into it. But it was the rear. So yeah, a plane hit me. I told you I was making a gamble, but those preparations that I made, had I gotten a little bit closer, I probably, but uh, right about here, I would have put the snorkel down. I then would have adjusted my course around like this. To right about there. And that would have given me a good angle of attack on those ships. But like I said, it was a, I was taking a chance and this time it didn't work out, but maybe next time. <laughs> now what I want, I am going to do is I'm going to show you the, um, the attack that I made in another video so that you can see that I actually did make it up there, but I wanted to show you how I was approaching first. So we're doing really good. I don't have any water in the hall. Everybody is fully rested. Oh, captain needs to go to sleep. You go to sleep. You get on the navigation. And he needs to go to sleep. Hopefully I won't get alarmed. I don't think I can put him playing cards before I'm alarmed. But if he's playing cards before I get into an alarm state, I think I can maintain that alarm. Or maintain playing card. Now, if you want to see <laughs> how far away we are from the ground, I mean, we're scraping the the ground right now. Going in, go back. I, I like I like the the view where I can see the ship, but especially at speed when I'm time compressed, I want to have a uh, an overview of what I'm doing. All right. So I'm gonna make a turn this way. Not that tight, right about there. Then make another turn. That's the plan. I hope it works. I know I'm getting really close to the, to the shore. Well, it seems to be working. I seem to have a good, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that turn a little bit earlier. And that's probably where I'm going to rest at. Make the turn. Because if you get too close to the side, you'll uh, you'll run aground. You see, I'm, I'm kind of swinging out wide. I knew that was going to happen. But that's why I'm doing it early. There we go. And I can't say anything because, like I said, I don't have any visuals right now. Kurs setzen. Zu Befehl. All right, I'm going to put him playing cards real quick before I get any type of alarm. I'm going to send you to sleep 
and send you to the navigation table. I want to control my captain. I want him to stay at the navigation table. I don't want him to bring up the... Uh... I'm going to slow down again. Now, I know this port. I know that there's a seawall right here, and I'm trying to get just around the seawall. And I'm going to bring it to a stop. So right now, I have my batteries in good shape, my diesel's in good shape, my oxygen in, and my discipline is amazing right now. All right, guys and gals, that's my time for today. I hope you have enjoyed this guide in how to sneak into a harbor. It doesn't always work, but normally I, I can sneak in, I mean, I'd say about eight out of 10 times. Hope you have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.